Welcome to the top five sports callers of the week. Number five. Ryan from Pittsburgh joined Starkey and Muller on 93.7 The Fan in Pittsburgh to discuss Steelers receiver Antonio Brown's front flip celebration. In doing so, he compares him to LeBron James. Celebrating in general, I generally frown upon, but I think we need to like separate the Steelers' religion. No one's getting hurt here. It was a freak of nature celebration. And when you see LeBron or Vince Carter steal the ball and go down the court and open open court, were they going to lay it up? No, you see LeBron pull that ball back and have a highlight reel. What if he did get hurt? What if Antonio Brown got hurt? Then, then he deserves to get hurt. But, you know, another thing with football players are helmets on. You know, he's the best in the league. And it was a spur of the moment. I'm just good. I'm going to do this. He wasn't going to get hurt. I think everyone. Well, no, I don't. I, we're not it. talking about like him landing on his head. We're talking about like his knee, his foot landing awkwardly, and he blows out a knee. You know, that's that's not going to happen. It's well, there's no way happen. you can guarantee that, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, a, a guy does a front flip, and he's not a trained gymnast. I mean, even trained gymnasts, there's a chance. Number four. Mike from Florida hopped on with Zolak and Bertrand on 98.5, the sports hub in Boston, to tell the guys he doesn't think the Pats can go 16-0 and without Julian Edelman. I think it is. I think with the team we have on the field right now, there is no way. And I think you lose games to Buffalo, and I think you lose games to the New York Jets. I just, you know, the quick option is critical. If you Like what you guys were just talking about, you know, it's, it's a big part of this offense. With no Jules and no Lewis, I mean, Bolden and White were completely ineffective when they were even on the field. I just, I'm not excited about it. I think if they did go 16-0 at this point, guys, I would not hesitate one second to say it is the greatest coaching performance in the history of the NFL if they can manage to go 16-0. I'm not even talking playoffs or Super Bowl. That alone, I think, puts Bill Belichick above any coach that's ever lived. Yeah, Mike, I don't think they're going 16-0 either. Number three, Lunatic Jack from Philadelphia called in to Angelo Cataldi and the morning team on Sports Radio 94 WIP in Philly to tell Angelo that Chip Kelly sucks. I got a concussion myself on Sunday from hitting my head against the wall. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hear terrible. you. Jack, that was an awful loss. Oh, my God. Oh, was, you know, and this Chip Kelly, a dismal, dismal failure as a GS. Number one. No, you know, he didn't do anything with the offense. How can you let two veterans go when you know they'd be better than what they have now? Receivers, look at what the Giants had. They've got people that can catch the ball. Number one. Number two, what's with this uh, the halfback being tripped by the quarterback all the time? Number two. James from Atlanta joined the Kylie and Carmen show on 92.3 The Fan in Cleveland to tell the guys how he has raised his sons to be Browns fans. Some of these Browns fans need to quit being wusses, and when they raise their kids, you force them to be Browns fans. I got a 12 and an 8-year-old. There's no other option. We're in Atlanta. Browns fans are the toughest fans in the NFL by far. Yeah, there's Browns fans, but, you, you know, there's sprinkles, you know, but I'm one of the few that's wearing gear. All right, so, let's, all right let's get inside the family here, James. This is very interesting okay. to me. Two boys. So they come to you and they say, we want to be Falcon fans. Your response is? No, you won't be. If you want to eat or be clothed or have something to drink, you will be Browns fans. Have you, wait household. a minute. Have you had this? this have yeah. they expressed an interest in being something other than Browns fans, did you pretty much scare the hell out of them from the crib on? Well, uh, from the crib on, I pinched both of them when they were babies to make make them tougher. So, you know, as a Browns fan, you know, I, I need them to be tough. Number one. The top spot goes to Sam from Bolingbrook, Illinois, who hopped on with Boers and Bernstein on 670 The Score in Chicago, trying to defend Mike Singletary's comments about Greg Hardy. The hosts aren't having any of it. I think he said the right thing. If he doesn't know, why would he? Why would he say something? Talk about. We do know, know but, but we do know. This is a case, is. Sam. This is a case where we have photographs, every fact. It was tried. He was convicted by a judge. So Singletary is a is a idiot. If he doesn't know, he's a complete idiot. That is the very definition of ignorance. 
I think the guy was correct. Correct of what? Correct regarding what? That, that we don't know? He doesn't know. He does. That, that he's a know. fool. If he that, that if he, if he doesn't know, he's an ignorant Dan. fool. Dan, did he tell the truth? Did he tell the truth? He no. He no, he know. didn't tell the truth. No, he said, so. we don't know. Behind. No, Sam, Sam, you know Sam, listen. He said, we don't know. That's factually wrong. We do That's know. Right. You, you really don't know. Yes. Dan. We, think you Sam, know Sam, we. Well, well, Sam, the, what do you think we're yeah, missing? What, what, what in what this are case missing? are we missing? I haven't. I've only listened to what you guys said, Dan. Why haven't you looked into this case? I haven't okay, Sam. Into okay, Sam. Sam. Here's the deal. Then, then you're an ignorant fool too. So what you're going to do, and, and what you're going to do, and what you're what you're going to do. It, so look, one one ignorant fool defending another doesn't look good for anybody. So Sam, what you are going to do right now is you can go actually read all of the reports. You can read the judgments. There are there are court documents available. There is photographic evidence available, and you read it and then call back. Do that. Because you're, you're wasting everybody's time. Tune in every week to hear the wildest callers and the wittiest banter as CBS Local Sports brings you the top five sports callers of the week.